Uber for David. Hey. It's my first time actually being picked up in a Tesla for Uber. Yeah? How do you like it so far? It's pretty cool. Sir, you can't be doing that. Sorry, my hands are cold, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you guys are wondering who I am with, I am with Mr. Sneakerhead in the Bay. Hey, guys. Congrats on your new Tesla. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, we've done that in so long. Hey, it packs a punch. It does. Is this one's technically a little faster? Uh, I don't or is know. It like... I, don't even, I think it's the same, to be honest. There's like little things in this car that's different from the last one, but yeah. So it's, it's very similar. before you had a 2019 Tesla Model 3? Yes. And now this is a 2022? 2023. 2023. 2023. So it has a lot more upgrades, different changes, they took new stuff features. Away, but they added some stuff, so it's just, I don't know. It's different. It's a little different. What made you want to go back to like a Tesla? Because obviously you had one. For those of you that don't know, Alex had a Tesla, sold it, uh, and now he's back a few years later. Oh, honestly, it was the price drop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a $3,000 price drop, and you get $7,500 federal tax credit. So if you're a business owner, either way, you're going to have to pay your taxes. So you get $7,500 just for buying this car right here. Who do you know that's like does business who do i know that does business yeah um hypeysrs.com <laughs> and you know like after a long day of just like packaging orders your hands just might be sore you know yeah i feel and, that. like in those cases you just you just let the car drive cool well feels great to be in the passenger seat of a tesla again can i hold your hand again <laughs> so we're heading to santana road nike right now alex needs to pick something up and then we'll update you guys what we do after. Is it just an adventure day for you? Are you, are you just vlogging? You're vlogging? I'm just vlogging, dude. I'm telling you, man. I'm just I trying like to keep that. it consistent again. I like that. I'm just trying to be 2016, 2017 David. Guys, hype up David in the comment section down below. You no guys one, don't know how... No one comments, though. But you don't know how much that, that like motivates David sometimes. I don't know what that's like because, I mean, when I get like that one person that always comments on my videos, I feel that, but... That's about it, you know. Just and and when I comment, you're just used to it, you know. Yeah, you don't care. I don't feel like, I don't just, feel anything when Alex me, comments. For me, it, it's just you're so numb to it. I mean nothing to you, but the subscribers do your thing. I'll just never know what it's like. Wow, dude, you're so cool. Save the environment, bro. <laughs> went to the mall. A little. Uh, went to Santana Row. A little. Uh, little Went to Santana Row real quick, but we love- Dude, say that! Say that! Santana Row real quick. Went to Santana Row real quick. No, say it faster, faster. Santana Row real quick. <laughs> but we're gonna hit up St. John's, dude. I haven't brought the vlog along to St. John's in so long. Now say that. Say St. John's in so long. St. John's in so long. <laughs> dude. At least kick it in- Yeah. Almost there. Good man. Dude, this feels so weird vlogging St. John's again. Because I used to vlog this all the time. Dude, take me back. Take me okay. back. Bacon cheese fries, hickory burger, garlic fries. Pineapple teriyaki. Pineapple teriyaki. And then we got sauce galore over here. Oh. <laughs> These are just Alex's sauces. This one's just mine. Yeah. Other than hot pot sea pot, this is my favorite like burger spot for sure. It's in Sunnyvale, St. John's. Use my code David got kicks for zero percent off. It's like a sports bar, and they even got like cool basketball players like Michael Jordan over here. Pretty cool. Dude, I'm so full. Like I literally overdid it. Oh my gosh, I'm so full too. Like every time I go to St. John's, I'm just so full. Hypeusrs.com. Swipe up. I don't want a pro. No, no promo. No promo. Okay. Dude, take me back to 2016. We're at the fix and we almost got hit. We almost got hit. Get the license plate. Get the license plate. <laughs> 20465. I want to make a police report. <laughs> oh my gosh. Time to play the key master. <laughs> so they got like this new artwork. This is Back to the Future. We got the boy Doc. We got literally everyone. They got a whole bunch of dope pieces right here. This is history right here. This is dope. Then we got the legendary Keymaster. So many shoes have been won here. I don't even know what number they're on, but Alex has won a bunch. I have won a bunch. All these shoes right here are all new sneakers. And all the shoes at the bottom 
are worn sneakers. For example, ooh, these are cool. Off-white fives, four hundred dollars, eight and a half. Those are pretty new. They look really good, like compared to some other dirtier pairs I've seen. For four hundred, dude, look at that bottom. Four hundred is still a lot, but that's cool. How much do these go for, though? I have no idea. So it's the following day. Today is my buddy RJ's birthday. So we're gonna head over to round one, play some games, do some karaoke, go bowling. And then after that, I'm gonna try to vacuum my car if I have some time. A few videos ago, Alex got me some all weather floor mats. And when I removed my original floor mats, I didn't realize how dirty my car was. Hopefully that gets cleaned up today. Damn, look at the concentration on Johnny's face. Couples goals. Some bowling. Are you ready, John? Are you ready? You know what the? Ken, are you ready? Look what I brought out. I don't know if you guys remember these from the last video. These are my 1984 Nike bowling shoes, dude. The condition on these are so crazy. I'll probably end up keeping these for times like this because I go bowling all the time, right? If I get a strike once, I'm keeping these. Yo, these shoes are low-key saucy. Yo! Hey, if you want, we can put the rails up for you. Please. Please <laughs> yeah. There's your shot with the shoes. Ready? Dale, dale guys away. I do a little one, two, step, one, two, step. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> All right, we gotta get this spare. Okay, I missed. No pressure. Dude, it's just like, just imagine like we, we bowling. We. You know, you toss it back. You know, you toss it back. Yeah. Like, when it touches the ground, like my fingers, like. I wasn't recording, but Johnny just got a strike. Hey, we can. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, my toes kind of hurt a little because these are nine and a half, and I normally wear a size 10, and they were rubbing up against my toe the whole game. After this wear, I probably will end up selling them, but this is a super clean pair. Look at that. Look at that thumbnail right there. We're finally coming around to vacuuming the car. So first things first, I'm going to remove all of these floor mats, and then I'm going to vacuum the car. And then since I have my original floor mats, I'm going to put them on before, and then I'm going to put this all-weather one on top of that one. So I have a shop vac vacuum and I'm not going to be able to get in between all of these small crevices so I'll probably have to tackle this with another vacuum that I have. At least the majority of this dirt and crumbs and food and candy and whatever else will be picked up.
Wow, that already looks so much better. And it's not gonna be 100%, but as long as it looks way better than it did before, then I'm happy. not a hundred percent that looks so much cleaner though even on the other side so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this this is the OEM floor mat that the car came with I'm gonna put this one on that side now we get the all-weather floor mat place it right over double the protection same thing with this side double the protection even the driver's side looks so much better except that corner floor mats Lock these in. Now we put the all-weather floor mat on top of here, just like that. Hey, Oreo, crazy cat. I think he's 10 or 11 years old right now. Also, if you have a RAV4 and you're interested in buying these cross rails, I'm willing to let these go for super cheap. I have the tools and the additional caps that go on here. I will never use this again because I will be putting on my Princey roof rack very soon. I know I've been saying that, but for real this time, for real this time. Preferably in the Bay Area because I'm not trying to ship these. Probably just DM me on Instagram at David Got Kicks, and we'll get these bad boys on your car. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it in any way, let me know in the comment section down below. I've really been enjoying vlogging and bringing the camera along with me everywhere I go since I kind of lacked that the last few months. It feels good to be back, re-energized, recharged. And I know sometimes it's just like a daily life stuff. Sometimes I just bring you along not really knowing what the day is gonna lead to. But I'm starting to plan out some more detailed videos of stuff that I wanna share with you guys and not really put on my other channel. Oh. Let me show you something that I made yesterday. So obviously, if you guys have seen my previous videos and you know me, you know that I do make sneaker candles. Just like this, for example, we have a baby Jordan 1. But let me show you what I just whipped up yesterday. This is my first attempt at making this, but this is a little Nike Soul dish tray. And this is made out of cement. So the image that you see here is like a Nike Soul or like a Jordan 1 Soul under the shoe, obviously. So you're probably asking, what is it for? What can you do with it? A lot of the times when I sell these candles, people are always wondering, oh, am I supposed to put like a plate under it? What if I want to light it? What if the wax gets on stuff that you don't want it to get on. Now you can put a candle on top of this dish. Or if you don't want to put a candle on there, you can put your keys, loose change, literally anything you want on here. These aren't available on the website yet, but I will have these at local events. Since this was my first test one, there are some air bubbles that I need to work on and remove whenever I add the cement on, but not bad for being my test. Obviously I will improve. And then this is the other thing. A Jordan 1 made out of cement. This thing is literally, I say it's like 5 to 10 pounds. I can honestly lift weights with this. This is a planter. Obviously, you put your plants inside of here. Probably little succulents, nothing too big. But this is a Jordan 1. This is my first time making one of these two. Obviously, there are some air bubble errors right here. These aren't available on my website either. I still need to work on getting the dimensions and everything for shipping, the pricing, because this is heavy. Shipping might be a lot, but and I'm also going to work on making this different colors, maybe like some marble effects but yeah you guys are literally getting the first heads up about this i haven't even posted this on my instagram snapchat nothing i probably will post it the day that i drop this video but you guys are seeing this first yeah i'll have these at local events as well in the bay area but that's tight i'm super happy with this i have some other candles right here a big air force one and some other candles that aren't pictured but that's gonna wrap up today's video i'll talk to you guys later for the next video and the next vlog it is your boy david got kicks peace